And the message that I have, I, I've got it titled Dominion because I just couldn't come up with nothing else, you know. I mean, I just said, okay, I mean, that's, what, that's the word kept coming to me. Dominion. And we're going to be talking about dominion. And we're going to be talking about the subject is casting out devils and walking in our authority that we should be. That, that, I said we should be. Amen. I said we should be. Amen. We should be. But folks, we ain't. We are not. A lot of us walk in more of it than others do. Yeah. But I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I, uh, there's one example that I can think of in modern day history, and I'm talking within the last 200 years, that I, can, I, I would say he walked in true dominion and authority and was not ruled by his flesh or was not ruled by by his, his feelings and his senses. You know who I'm talking about, no? Yeah. Smith Wigglesworth. Mm -hmm. The Apostle yeah. of Faith. I believe it's what they called him. Mm -hmm. and, and to get there, he constantly stayed in the Word, for one thing. Mm -hmm. He constantly stayed in the Word. And he constantly kept out the world. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't allow it around him. He didn't allow it to come in his ear ports and his eye ports. Therefore, it wasn't coming in, so it didn't go out. Right. Amen. Yes. And that's a key right there. Yeah. Yeah. Because what comes in goes out. Yeah. Yeah. And, that, and, and we can start right there with, 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 with stopping some of the things that we let go in these two airports. Amen. You know, I like, I like uh, uh, what I've been seeing on Facebook a few times as uh, how do we keep from being in fear? And then they show a picture of someone with a, a remote turning a TV off. That is a good way to keep from being in fear. Mm -hmm. One of the ways. Turn that junk off. But it's indicating turning the news off. Don't be listening to the news. And don't be listening to naysayers. Yeah. See, I'm talking about what goes in here. Yeah. you got to guard that. See, Smith Wigglesworth, back in his day, the news was a newspaper. He would not let one in his house. I mean, he was as bold as to tell a fellow that came to visit him, you, you can come in, but that ain't coming in. You might as well leave that outside. It ain't coming in my house. Amen. So there was a lion's tear on it. That's exactly right. But you see, we're not bold enough to do that. Amen. Sometimes we need to get bold with telling people, don't come around me with that kind of stuff. Yeah. But you know, we don't. We just kind of tolerate it. Yeah. And we let it come around us. Yeah. But here's the key. We, we need to be bold about it in love. Yeah. Yeah. There's love in our heart. That was the key right. with him. He had a, 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 a fountain of love in his heart. Okay. Wait, wait. And therefore, he was bold. The more the more love we have in our heart, the bolder we'll get. Yeah. Because the love comes from the Holy Spirit. I'm talking about agape love. I'm not talking about is it philo? Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about philo love. I'm not talking about the human kind of love. I'm talking about the God love. Yeah. And the more we have of that in our heart, the bolder we'll be. Amen? Amen. You see, God created us to have dominion on this earth. Yes. Amen. Amen. Turn in your Bibles to Genesis. And we're going to start there. Holy God. 
God, I, hallelujah. I really believe that God's got some good words for us today. Because he just, he just said some good things, Joe. Hallelujah. Uh, in Genesis chapter 26, I mean uh, chapter 1 in verse 26, God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his image. In the image of God created he him Male and female created he them. He created him, male and female created he them. Now that's a twister, ain't it? And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. I'm going to take a sidetrack here for just a minute. Well, this is just so, so intriguing to me. He's saying right here, he created he them. He first said God created he him. And then he created male and female, created he them, and God blessed them. But do we understand that there's just Adam involved right here, right now? Yeah. He hadn't reached inside of Adam and took the female part out of Adam. But yet he's telling them to be fruitful and multiply. <laughs> Ain't that neat? Anyway, I just, that side girl. But we was created to have dominion. That's the way God created us. We was to rule in the reign on earth. Are you understanding that? That's what he's talking and, and and we can tell Adam, we can tell dogs come here, we tell dogs go there, you know. They listen to us and all. And, and mankind has pretty much had that kind of dominion all along. But when, when in, over here in chapter uh, 3, and, and down in verse 6 and 7, man lost dominion. But I, before I go there, I want to I read this. Uh, I forgot about this because what does dominion mean in this verse? And I, 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 I googled this and found it. In Genesis 1.26, God, after creating mankind, delegated authority to him, man, mm -hmm. to have dominion. The word dominion strongly means to rule or have power over. This is reinforced in Genesis 128 where God said that humanity was to subdue the earth. So it, it means that we are to have authority and power. Amen? Authority. Mm -hmm. Man has authority here on earth. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? So, moving right along. Man lost his authority when he ate the fruit from the tree. And that's where I was going just now. Genesis 3, 1 through 6. Uh, I'm not going to read the, the first verses because I'm just talking about where Eve gave up the, uh, Adam and Eve gave up the authority. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eye and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and excuse me and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat now now listen to this and their eyes were both opened 
But they were standing there eating, so their eyes must have been already open. So what eyes were they talking about? It was the spiritual eyes. The eyes of their spirit were open. And they seen good and evil. They, they, and they knew that they were naked and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. And then it goes on to talk about when God came in the garden. Oh, that's not what I'm wanting to talk about today. I'm wanting to talk about dominion. We lost dominion. Adam and Eve lost our dominion there. They lost the authority that we had. They turned it over to the devil. Are y'all understanding that? And so for basically 4,000 years, man did not have authority on earth. The devil did. Mm -hmm. And he ruled and reigned. And the only time that God's Spirit was able to uh, deal with man was through the prophets. Up until Jesus. Amen? Amen. And man lived a basically a defeated life. Yep. They had to sacrifice animals for their sins, you know, once a year to to uh, reconcile themselves. And then Jesus came along. In John chapter 19 in verse 30, Jesus got back, Jesus got it, got our dominion and our authority. He got that back on the cross when he hung himself on the cross. And when he said, it is finished. Yeah. See, everything that Adam and Eve had undone, Jesus just redone. Yeah. Yeah. And just like the word that was coming through Jennifer a while ago about the scars in his hand, we have, we now have a new and better covenant. Yeah. Yeah. And the scars are still there to prove the covenant that we have. Amen. Now, at that at that point right there, folks, I want to I want to put this question out to you. Let's see, there's several of us in here have kids. Some of us have grown kids. Some of us have young kids. But if you if you had given your best for those children to be able to have the best, you've given your best to have so that those children could have the best tennis shoes, the best blue jeans, the best t-shirts, yeah. the best um, of whatever. But every time you see those children come around, they're in tore up clothes. Yeah. They're in wore out blue jeans. Right. And wore out tennis shoes. And you say, why are you wearing such clothes? Well, it's just all I can have. It's just a, it's the best I can do. I'm just a uh -huh. poor, humble child of yours. Uh -huh. I'm just a, I'm just a poor, humble child of yours, just trying to make it through this life. And you say, "But I gave my best so that you could have your best." Yeah. What would that say to you? Right. I mean, that you would, you, you, you poured your everything that you've had, the best that you've had, and they're living like that, acting like they're humble. Uh, uh, that's ungrateful. And acting like that they're they're they don't have nothing because they they think that that's more like you. Oh, we 
wish I could say this like I'm feeling it. Yeah. Because, it. folks, that's what we're doing whenever we're not walking in the best that Amen. He's provided that's for right. us. Amen. And we're not. We're not walking in the dominion that He's provided for us when He said it's finished. We're not walking in that. I'm talking about the people in this church right here. Right. I'm talking to myself. Right. Oh, we walk in and more. We walk in better than a lot of them do. But, 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 but hey, we can't rough our feathers and, and do like the old rooster and flap our wings. No, no, no. Cause we we ain't there yet, folks. Amen. But I guarantee you, I'm, I'm going, I'm going further. Amen. Amen. I'm not stopping. Amen. And I will, I refuse to say that I'm just an old sinner saved by grace. Amen. Because I ain't. I was an old sinner, and then I got saved by grace. Amen. And bless God, I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Now I can stand righteous before Him. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you right now, it's time for us to stop letting the devil run rough shot over us. Amen. I'm talking about us walking in dominion. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Man's dominion was restored to him once again when Jesus said it's finished. Amen. Our dominion was restored to us. Jesus re-delegated the authority back to us who are born again back into His image and in His likeness. In Matthew 28, 18, He said, All power, authority, is given unto me, Jesus, in heaven and on earth. And then He said, Go ye, He said, I'll go and y'all, I'm going to tell you what to do. No, he said, go ye into all the world yeah. and preach the gospel. Yeah. He said, all authority is given unto me. Right. Go ye. Amen. Huh? It's yours, it ain't mine. But see, now it is mine. Yeah. Because he's given it to me. Right. Mm -hmm. And he says in his word in Luke 10 to 19, I've given you authority. Amen. And he gave us Holy Ghost as heaven. Amen. See, we have the authority to walk Amen. in the authority of Jesus Christ. Amen. In his authority. We have the authority to, to use his name as the word came. We have the authority to use His name. Yep. Turn in your Bibles to Mark chapter 16. Chapter 16, uh, starting in verse 15 through 18. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. <laughs> he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Now let's go back up to. In my name they shall cast out devils. Yeah. And see, I've always read that and I've always thought... If that's if, if there's a if there's someone that's demon possessed, we ought to cast them out, and we are. 
We have dominion over devils. Yes. If there's sickness in your life, you need to be casting that sickness out. If there's poverty in your life, you need to be casting that poverty out. Mm -hmm. It's not just talking about me going up to Daniel and casting a devil out of him if he had a de demon. We need to be casting it out of our life. Mm -hmm. Amen. We need to stop him from running roughshod over our life, folks. That's right. We need to stop him from doing what he's doing in our life mm -hmm. and in our family's life and in our kids' life. You see, we let him we let him rule and reign over us more than we should. Come on. Are y'all hearing me? Y'all y'all heard my y'all heard my my uh, uh, analogy of a, of a father and a and a kid, huh? Amen. I mean, he's given his best, and we're not partaking of his best, and we're not using his best, and we're not walking in his best. Paul said, Paul said, for this reason, a lot of you have, are, have, have fallen asleep. And this was talking about the communion, you know. Yeah. And it's talking about the body of Christ. And not, not consuming everything that, that, that was put on the table to be consumed. Amen. Amen. And that's what we do. Right. We don't consume the whole sacrifice that Jesus yeah. put there for us. Amen. We're leaving stuff on the table. Yep. And we need to quit leaving stuff on the table. And we need to quit letting the devil rule and reign over us. We are to rule and reign in life through Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's Romans 5, 17. And Jesus said, they shall cast out devils. He didn't say they might. He yeah. said they shall. Yeah. He didn't say they might walk in the uh, uh, the the dominion that I've given them. Right. He said they shall. Right. That, that shall means that they should. We should. We should walk in the authority that Jesus has provided for us. We should. How many of you here today say you are walking in the authority that Jesus has provided for you? That's not good, huh? They ain't none of us can raise our hands. Not in the fullness. We're starting. Not in the fullness. I've got big fear in some areas, but we're getting it. <laughs> we walk. We walk. Yeah. And thank you, because that's right. You know, yeah. and it's like I said before, we we hear walking more than a lot of folks do. But let us not get up on the fence post and flap our wings and crow. Because mm -hmm. right. we ain't got nothing to crow about. Amen? Because the devil still runs over us. And we let it. I'm tired of him doing that to me. And to the best of my ability, I'm going to quit letting him run over me. I walked out of the office this morning. I got up out of that chair and and, and my knees and all, you know, and, and that's that's letting him run over me, folks. See, them knees, them knees hurt me. That ain't from God. No. That's from the devil. It's arthritis in my knees. I reckon that's what it is, and it hurts. But I'm redeemed from that. I'm redeemed from that. Why am I redeemed from that? Because Jesus. For that in his body on the tree when he hung there and he said it's finished 
Amen. Larry, your healing's been provided for you, son. All you got to do is walk Amen. in it. Amen. I've given my best for you, and son, you don't have to have that. You don't have to have that on you. See, a mama and a daddy say, well, son, you don't have to walk. You don't have to go around in them tore up blue jeans. And you don't have to walk around in them, them wore out tennis shoes right. and that wore out t-shirt. You don't have to do that. I'm giving my best so that you don't have to do that. And then the child comes back and says, I know, Daddy, but I'm just a humble child of yours. And, I, and this is just, I believe this is the best, this is all I need until I get there. I, I'm satisfied with this. I'm happy with the camp down on the branch with holes in the walls. Mm. I'm happy with that. Yeah, yeah, that's what we say to him a lot of times when we do stuff like we do. I mean, does that does that get it to where you can understand stuff a little easier? Mm-hmm. We need to quit settling yeah. for yeah. what the devil gives us. Right. Because that's what we're doing. We're settling for what he's giving us. Right. And we're not taking back from him what he's taking from us. Right. We're not slapping him in the face and saying, in the name of Jesus, get your hands off of my finances. In the name of Jesus, get your hands off of my body. In the name of Jesus, get your hands off of my kid. In the name of Jesus... Get your hands off of my mom and daddy. Amen. See, when we say in the name of Jesus that way, that's asking. We're demanding him to get out of here. Get the hell out of your devil. Amen. 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 <laughs> you big boy. Amen. <laughs> Are y'all hearing me? It works. Amen. Y'all stand on your feet.